Hi, my name is Mary Rose Gone. I'm a professor of nursing at Erie Community College North. And we have Megan Mahoney here, and she is going to be demonstrating trach care of a patient. She will first position her patient in semi fowler's position, unless contraindicated, and place a linen saver pad on the chest. She will then don clean gloves, remove the soiled tracheostomy dressing, and then discard the dressing and the gloves as appropriate, and perform hand hygiene. She will open the tracheostomy kit, removing the lid completely. She'll set the wrapped sterile gloves to the side, and remove the waterproof drape and create a sterile field on the table. She will then empty the contents onto the sterile field using care not to let the tray touch the sterile drape. She'll then fill the tray compartments with the desired solutions, normal saline and peroxide per agency policy. Next, she will don the sterile gloves and then organize the supplies, setting the brush and Q-tips in the solutions in the tray. She will then remove the inner cannula with one hand, stabilize the flange with the other hand, place it and soak it in the peroxide solution. She will then inspect and clean the peristomal skin area with Q-tips or gauze dipped in the normal saline solution. Next, she will clean the inner cannula with the brush. And then rinse the inner cannula with the normal saline solution. She'll replace the inner cannula, securing and locking it in place. The ties can then be changed if they are needed per agency protocol. She will finish by applying the dry split gauze dressing under the flange of the tracheostomy tube. If the ties need to be changed, it requires two people. Very good. Is there anything else that we need to say? I think that's good. Okay, thank you.